Hi Taurus, welcome to your weekly love readings. These will be from the 16th until the 20th of March. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment down in the comment section below. Also, these are general love readings, so they're not going to resonate with everyone. That's okay. If it's not resonating with you this week, that, uh, just hit the notification button if you haven't already, and then go and check out one of the other tarot readers here on YouTube. Now, I will be kind of pointing out to all of the readings, particularly with the current world climate and a lot going on. There is a lot of readings coming through that are referencing that. Um, I just did the Aries reading and it came up straight away. So it's important that we just get it out there. Love readings do not necessarily mean romantic love. They can do, um, but love is just a form of energy. So this could be relating to family, friends, uh, other relationships that you've got going on amongst yourselves. Um, but yeah, ultimately love, don't just restrict yourselves to thinking that this can be related um, to romantic love but let's see what we've got for Taurus this week it could be anything it's like spinning the wheel all right Taurus love messages please for Taurus for the 16th through to the 20th what have we got for you guys okay all right so you're making some clear decisions about someone who may have returned from the past or someone that you've known for a very, very long time. You've got the two of wands in reverse, clarified by the six of cups there. Taurus. Oh, that's too many. And I picked this deck very deliberately this week because it is my positivity deck. Oh, that's not very positive, as I said that. <laughs> okay. There is the king of swords in reverse all right i'm sensing that this is a third party or someone coming between you now that doesn't have to be a third party romantic person this could be someone in your immediate family friends group that's just trying to come in between you um because i'm picking the two of you up in this six of cups here so this is almost like um uh no, you've definitely known them for a really long time or they've just recently maybe come back into your life because I feel like one of you's returned from somewhere. Um, you're very happy to see each other, that's for sure. All right, so the page of wands in reverse. Yeah, that's in relation to, okay, so there's someone who doesn't approve of this. And you're not wanting to tell them. Um, you're kind of avoiding having the conversation with them. You know that the conversation is going to end in a fight. Um, so you're just not saying anything. Yeah, and you are isolating from them. <laughs> Social distancing yourself from them. Um, one more please for Taurus. Yeah, you know that they aren't going to approve. Oh, yeah. Because <laughs> you just, you know what it is? You're just enjoying the moment at the moment. You're, you're kind of not trying to, you're trying not to be around them. You're isolating yourself from them, from this person that's you know is going to have a negative response because you're walking on the moon at the moment. Like you're walking on cloud nine with this full card. This is a new start that you've got with this person and it feels amazing. Um, the, the energy coming off of this card is actually wow, so wow. All right, let's get some more information on this King of Swords in reverse, please. So this King of Swords in reverse, you know he's going to have nothing good to say. I do think it's a family or friend member, like I said. Um, and yeah, it's someone who absolutely disapproves of whatever's happening here there you go <laughs> devil card right there they could be a capricorn but ultimately i think it's that they have their own attachment issues with one of you um now if it's a parent they might actually be a parent that is all about control or insists on controlling you has control issues um they may have almost like a codependency to you they it's unhealthy though it's toxic their involvement in your life you need to let them let you go um 
I don't even need, think we need to talk about any of that. What's the um? What's the full card, please? Yeah, look at this. This is all about you having the most amazing time at the moment. A fresh new start. It's very exciting for you. Um, you feel success. Like this cannot go wrong. You are you are literally walking on cloud nine here with this with this um you know full card. All right, thoughts and feelings, please for Taurus. Taurus, I'm loving this. It's amazing. You are definitely concerned about what's going on in your home life. Yes. Okay. So I think that you, um, in relation to your home life, I think that you are anticipating that there is going to be a whole lot of hurt here. Okay. Um, if this is someone that you're connected to in terms of romantically, that could be on your mind in terms of separating um, and knowing that this is going to hurt them. They could be the third party. They are very toxic for you still, but that is for a small amount of you. Most of you, this is a family or friend member. Um, but even so, this is about family. No, sorry, this is about um, you know your home environment as well. So um, there is some... Um, trauma that you're concerned about um a lot of hurt and again why you're not talking to this king of swords in reverse i'm keen to know who the king of swords is so please shoot me a comment let me know oh look at this flipping over there all right but and you're putting it on hold you're just hanging you're waiting for the right opportunity to do something about it there and that was spirit flipping that card all right, let's go for the, um, I want to go for the past person that's returned, their thoughts and feelings. We're also going to pick up the thoughts and feelings for this King of Swords, please. So the past person, thoughts and feelings, please, for Taurus. Thoughts and feelings for Taurus, please. Oh, wow. Yeah, they want it all with you. They're, they're thinking marriage children family the lot like they are again they're feeling what you're feeling this ten of cups feeling with cloud nine they are loving life one more please for the past person oh look at that king of pentacles long-term commitment like these cards don't get any better yeah amazing this is i'm ready to give you everything that you could ever need Ten of Cups, all of your wishes, hopes, dreams coming true. Um, and I'm here for the long haul with this pentacle. All right, let's go with the uh, thoughts and feelings on this King of Swords in reverse, please. Thoughts and feelings in King of Swords in reverse, please. Yeah, wow. <laughs> Emperor in reverse. Dominant, aggressive. Um, controlling all of those things that I said over here. That is all that they've got in their mind. They want control of the situation. They want it done their way. In fact, they may be mentally or physically abusive in some instances. One more, please, for the King of Swords in reverse. Heartbreak. Again, I cannot make this up. When it works, it works. Um, so ten of, uh, sorry, three of swords, they're behaving like this because they are hurt, they are damaged, um, even if it is a friend or, or family member, they are, it's almost like, um, it's their way of making themselves feel better because they're hurt is by trying to control you. Um, but it's not working. It sh what shouldn't work. I don't think it's working because you're kind of like isolating yourself from this person. What's the most likely outcome here for Taurus, please? What's the most likely outcome for Taurus in this situation? Oh, Queen of Wands. There's going to be a lot of action. Laws of busyness. Social. Three of Pentacles in reverse. All right, so you will be um, keeping this person a secret for a little while. I've got the 
Knight of Wands, um, which is the passionate part of this um, connection coming in with the wand there. Um, but he was clarified by the moon, so you will be keeping that a secret for the time being. I do think that um, you, you're going to be trying to keep busy. Um, you might be a lot more social, going out a lot more. And the people around you that are the naysayers, they don't like this. So it is going to cause some uh, issues, some rifts, some uh, problems, I guess is the best way to call it. I feel like there's, again, a misalignment between people's expectations here. Um, but I think you it's because you're seeing this person in secret. So that's fine, whatever. All right, let's go with advice, please, for Taurus. Advice for Taurus. So there's definitely new offers on the table for you. Spirit saying you're right to just hold and take things slowly. Um, just wait for the right time. Nine of cups in reverse. Ah, oh, okay. All right. So I actually am picking up that this is this other person, not you. Um, so it's like, it's almost like saying Look, the offers are there, but you really do need to wait for the right time to manage this person and almost like their selfishness. Um, but you will be given everything that you need to create the, situ the, the situation that you want, like the, the ending that you want. So this is one of the best cards that you can get in a situation like this. Because Spirit's saying, look, I'm going to give you all the tools. You're going to have all the ingredients. Whether you make a cake or muffins or bread or whatever, it's up to you. You make whatever you want to make of it. I'll give you whatever you need. Okay. So however you would like this to end up, you're going to be given all of the opportunities and tools to be able to do this with the magician here, okay? But there is some benefit to just holding for that right moment because if you rush in um, and, you know, flip this guy and he's in reverse and you're making knee-jerk reactions, then you're not going to be in the best position. You need to be able to manage this selfishness that's going on here with this Nine of Cups in reverse. All right. Let's do, I'm going to do a romance angel today. Actually, we're going to do a romance angel. We're also going to do an angel answers just because of the state of the nation at the moment, the state of the world. I'm going to do angel answer. I'm going to read from the book because they've been particularly insightful. So let's do a romance angel here first, please. The book has just a little bit more um, explanation. It's a lot deeper than the words on the card oh wow past life relationship this is how you guys have reconnected again because i suspect that this is just another cycle again this is soulmate soulmate card here so definitely past life connections going on i'm not surprised by this at all <laughs> i can feel like i feel so good about the two of you um and look this person's just gonna have to get over it is basically how i'm feeling about that um you will keep them secret for the until the right time comes though all right let's do an angel answers so what angel answers do we have advice do we have for taurus during this time this week what angel answers will help us through this week for taurus there's a lot happening at the moment in the world romance Okay, well, you're not concerned about anything going on in the world because you're over here, absolutely, going, I'm loving life, I just don't care, everything is amazing and nothing can go wrong for me, um, which is great. But let's see what the book says. Okay, oh, are you not even going to believe this, Taurus? All right, here we go. A very important relationship is about to enter or has recently entered your life. This is the romance you have been waiting for. 
Like all partnerships, there may be ups and downs, but don't let that deter you or shake your confidence. Have faith that love is coming into your life to stay. If your question was about a current relationship, you can expect the parties to become closer to one another. Past disagreements will fade away and trust will grow. All relationships have peaks and valleys. This card indicates an upward movement to a new level of dedication and intimacy. This can include engagement, marriage, or a form of recommitment to one another. Well, I think that that pretty much sums up what we've seen here in the cards. So it's good to know that the angel answers are actually aligning. They're fitting in quite nicely. The energies are obviously all melding together with these cards. They all sit close to each other on the table. So that's good. I think that helps. All right, Taurus. Well, you know what? You guys just keep doing what you're doing and don't worry about what's happening in the world because you are just blissfully living life and unaware of all of the drama that's going on. Um, and I think that that's an amazing place to be for you at the moment. All right, I will talk to you for the weekend reads. In the meantime, please stay safe, stay safe out there and um, you know, leave comments, talk to one another. There's a lot happening. Not everyone has someone to talk to, so please use this forum as your talk, talk space if you need to. And um, I'll see you back here for the weekend reads. Bye.